Hi, it's Debbie Danke here today to talk with you about improvising over the F blues. Perhaps some of you saw my 28 bar of blues in the key of F demonstration where I was talking about using the left hand device called the Bud Powell shell. Now I'm going to, by popular request, because some of you asked, show you some of the ideas that I used in my right hand that you can apply when improvising over the blues. Let's take a look. Are some fun ideas to choose when you're playing the blues. We're going to take the F blues and you may already know that you can use the key center blues scale. So here it is if we're playing the F blues, the F blues scale F, A flat, B flat, B, C, E flat, F. I recommend practicing it at least three octaves up and down the piano and you can try little bits and pieces of it spilling down the keyboard like that okay but did you also know that for most regular 12 bar blues there's another scale choice you can use and that is to be found a minor third below your key so here's F and three half steps below, I have the note D. Now, if I were to play the notes of the D blue scale, over the left hand chords to the F blues, it'll have a, maybe a brighter, perkier effect. But I might want to center a lot of my ideas around the note F, because after all, we are in the key of F here. So you've got the two blue scales, the F blue scale, the D blue scale. Let's also discuss chromatic passing tones, okay? Like if I'm moving between two chord tones, I can put the notes in between. Okay, or even just one note, slip it in there. The idea that there are no wrong notes in jazz is true, but it helps if you play with rhythmic confidence and you start on a good note and you end on a good note and then all that chromatic stuff in between is just gravy. You can also use certain ideas that help give it a little in the crack sound like uh, shapes or tremolo you can pick any note of the blue scale and shake it a, as an octave or a, a third combination tones those are very fun okay so what i'm going to play here is i'm going to play an octave and i'm combining the notes of the F blue scale underneath it. Now, you may have heard some blues pianists, sometimes they'll mix up a couple of notes together with a combination tone. Grace notes, great thing to put into the blues because you want to sound, oh, a little bit earthy and loose. You don't want to sound too classically pure with that. So uh, when you're going from a black key, such as A flat to A natural, go like you're wiping a bug off the key. 
Here's another idea I was just using, and that's called a turn. Turns used by trumpet players and uh, bebop musicians. Okay, if you have a note such as C, you can turn around it like this. You start on the note and you go above it, through it, and back to it. You can do turns with half steps or whole steps or whatever you whatever you think works well but that's what a turn is about and the final idea i would like to demonstrate is what i call the gospel lick now gospel music often uses this idea where you have the one chord and then the four chord like a b flat over f and then outline an F7, so F major, B flat over F. Now you can do lots of variations on this. You can break it up. You can try the gospel lick in different inversions. You see, there are lots of fun things you can do with the blues. To sum it up, try a whole bunch of different stuff. You know, maybe go with the six note blues scale. And then as you get more adventurous, try um, all these other little combination tones, turns, shakes, grace notes, and have fun playing. Now you're going to see the 28 bars of F blues. And I'll slow it down so that you can see these ideas that I was improvising. <laughs> 